Hey everybody, Nate Lee here, and that was a little bit of Chancellor's Waltz there. If you want to learn how to play that, come see me for a private lesson. Go to playnately.com, link on the screen right here and down there in the description. So we're going to have some fun today. This may or may not be instructional, and I'm so far from a uh, fiddle historian, but I have a general idea what I think is true here. What is the difference between a fiddle and a violin? We're going to ask ChatGPT what the difference is between a fiddle and a violin. Um, before we look at it, and I don't have the information to verify what I'm about to say or what ChatGPT has to say. This is strictly entertainment purposes here. If you know the real answers for the difference between the fiddle and a violin, put them in the comments. If you've heard some interesting things, like one time, if I remember right, Tim O'Brien said the difference between a fiddle and a violin is you don't carry a violin in a toe sack. So <laughs> anyway, if you know uh, any entertaining ones, ones you're not sure if they're true or ones you're really positive about, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. So we're going to ask ChatGPT. Uh, we're going to see if what I think may be something that it agrees with, which is this one, I can tell you, they're the same instrument. How you do setup can make a difference in what you're going for stylistically or which instrument you choose. But uh, that's about it. <laughs> I see plenty of fiddlers play on classical rigs. And uh, well, I don't know any classical players who play a flat bridged five string fiddle or something like that. But it's a lot of crossover. I also heard, and I cannot verify this, but that fiddle is a old like Anglo-Saxon word or something. Linguists out there, let me know. All right, so let's ask it. What's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? Show us what you got. All right. I really should pay for the subscription. I've heard it's faster. All right, this part I knew to be true. From a technical standpoint, there is no difference between a violin and a fiddle. They are the same instrument consisting of four strings played with a bow on a wooden body. However, the terms violin and fiddle are often used to describe different styles of playing and musical genres. Violin is the term typically used in classical music to describe the instrument and the playing style is usually formal and precise. In this context, the violin is often used in orchestras and chamber music groups. On the other hand, fiddle is a term more commonly associated with traditional music such as bluegrass, country, and folk. Yep, side note, um, jazz players usually call it a violin. The playing style is often looser and more improvisational with an emphasis on rhythm and melody. Absolutely true. You know, classical timing is so different from groove that we experience in other styles that we go for. Adam Neely has a great video on that, so look for that. Fiddlers may use different techniques and play in different positions on the fingerboard compared to classical violinists. So partially, um, fiddlers and violinists do tend to use a lot of different techniques. Um, one example is the violinists are so good at all that bow bouncing and stuff. And really, Randy Howard is the only fiddler I ever heard who really incorporated all of those types of things. Um, but the different positions on the fingerboard, no, no. Uh, fiddlers use all of the positions the same as the classical player. So we got a ding chat BT, GPT on this one. Uh, but it's it's just learning. It's new. And boy, is it already very good. Uh, all right, in summary, while the instruments themselves are the same, the terms violin and fiddle are often used to distinguish between different playing styles and musical genres. And that's one that in practice, uh, if I'm having done this for so long, I've played going on 26 years, I think. Um, that's spot on. That is the difference. So basically classical, you're going to call it a violin. Jazz, you're going to probably call it a violin. Um, in like punk rock and things like that, I've often heard it called a violin. In hip hop, they call it a violin usually. Um, but then bluegrass and old time, and uh, I always hear Celtic players call it a fiddle, um, related styles to that, you know, new grass, things like that, it's typically called a fiddle. Interestingly, in new acoustic music, which is stuff from the era of dog music and Tony Rice's space grass and stuff like that. In new acoustic music, it's not uncommon to hear it called a violin. So there you go. Some things you didn't know, some things that uh, I, I certainly didn't know what to expect. And uh, again, take this with a jar of salt. I can't, I can't verify that all of this is true, but 
Let me know in the comments what you think, what your opinions are, what you've heard, what you know for a fact. All right, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It's a quick and easy free thing you can do to support the channel. It makes me want to make new free videos for you every week. I make a fiddle video every week and a mandolin video every week. And as always, if you're watching on Facebook, make sure to follow this page, like and share this post, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.